Mali Prime Minister Chogel Kokala Mega has accused France of abandoning the conflict-torn country of its decision to draw down troops this year. Mega told the United Nations General Assembly that he regretted the unilateral announcement by Paris. La situation... The situation continues to deteriorate gradually to the extent that whole areas of our national territory have escaped from government control. My fellow citizens are living in the grip of armed terrorist groups who deny them their most elementary rights. The new situation resulting from the end of Operation Barkhane puts Mali before a fate accompli, abandoning us mid-flight to a certain extent, and it leads us to explore pathways and means to better ensure our security autonomously or with other partners so as to fill the gap, which will certainly result from the withdrawal of Barkhane in the north of the country. Mali's Prime Minister told the UN General Assembly that his country felt abandoned by the French move. He also signaled efforts to seek other military help to fill the gap which will result in the withdrawal of French troops from Mali. Mali's year-old military junta is close to a deal to recruit the Russian private military contractors, the Wagner Group. The armed terrorist groups who have invaded almost two-thirds of our territory in 2012 have dispersed and spread without ever being wiped out. They have informed and gained strength it is against this backdrop of worrisome threat that the French army, through Operation Sarval and then Operation Barkhane, was authorized in support of MINUSMA and our states to lead the combat against terrorism in Mali. It is also against this backdrop, President, that the French Operation Barkhane was suddenly announced its withdrawal. Russia has confirmed the development. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov admitted that Mali has approached the Wagner Group, adding that the Russian government had nothing to do with any deal between the private military company and Mali. They have approached Russian private military companies. We have nothing to do with that. This is an activity which has been carried out on a legitimate basis. Earlier, Paris had warned that any deal between Mali and the Russian Wagner Group is incompatible with a continued French presence in the country. France's armed forces minister also visited Mali last weekend to pressure the military junta to end talks to bring Russian mercenaries into the country. French officials described the relationship with the junta as complicated, although it still relies on Paris for counterterrorism operations. France, which has lost 52 soldiers in the Sahel since it began engagements in January 2013, decided to reorganize its military presence around a tighter unit centered on targeted strikes against jihadist leaders and on supporting local armies. Paris has started reshaping its 5,000-strong Barkhane mission in Mali to include more European partners, Earlier this month, Paris began redeploying troops from bases in northern Mali. It is reducing its contingent of between 2,500 and 3,000 from about 5,000 and also moving more assets to Niger and encouraging other European special forces to work alongside local forces. The UN, which has some 15,000 peacekeepers in Mali, has also expressed concerns at the possible involvement of Wagner fighters. According to reports, Mali's army-dominated government in Bamako is close to hiring 1,000 Wagner paramilitaries. European countries have warned the Malian government on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly this week against hiring paramilitaries from the controversial Wagner group. Last week, European Union foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell warned Mali that the potential deployment of the Wagner group would be a red line for the European Union and it would have immediate consequences on their cooperation. The big question is, why is France and the EU opposing Mali's talks with the Russian military group? The Russian company is considered close to President Vladimir Putin. Western countries accuse it of acting on behalf of Moscow. Russian paramilitaries, private security instructors and companies have grown increasingly influential in Africa in recent years, particularly in the conflict-ridden Central African Republic. 
where the United Nations has accused Wagner contractors of committing abuses. Moscow admits having deployed instructors to CAR, but says they aren't active in fighting. Russia also insists there are no paramilitaries in Libya, despite Western claims to the contrary.